There's a number of different uh, trades coming online over the next couple of years, and of course the extended and list are the ones that will um, be available first, and they should be available in 2016 if all the export approvals get uh, come through. Um, Roundup Ready Extend is dicamba resistance um, in combination with glyphosate resistance, so it's a Roundup Ready bean that has resistance to dicamba. The Enlist bean um, has resistance to 2,4-D and Liberty and also glyphosate. Um, and then there's some beans coming from both Bayer and Syngenta that have resistance to HPPD inhibitors, which are products like Balance and Callisto. Um, so at this point, um, the Balance GT bean would have resistance to isoxaputol or Balance um, with glyphosate and also glufosinate or Liberty. And then also you could probably use Callisto on it pre, but possibly not post. Um, the MGI soybean from Syngenta would have allow pre-post use of Callisto, um, glufosinate, and balance. Um, and then DuPont also has something called the Bolt soybean, which has increased tolerance to ALS chemistry like Harmony and Classic. Um, that's a little bit like the STS bean, but it has higher tolerance yet, so it's even safer and higher rates of products like Synchrony and, and Harmony can be used on that bean compared to regular beans. Um, we really don't have labels yet for the Extend Dicamba products, so I'm going to emphasize Enlist a little bit here um, and use it to make some points. The Enlist trait confers resistance to 2,4-D. Um, that bean's also resistant to glyphosate and glufosinate or Liberty. It's illegal to use Liberty on the bean, and the combination of Liberty with some 2,4-D is a great way to manage some of the weeds we have that already have resistance to glyphosate, so you don't put too much pressure on the 2,4-D. Um, Dow and your seed seller can't tell you it's legal to use Liberty or glufosinate on these beans. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, so you can use 2,4-D pre-plant, pre-emergence, post-emergence with no weight to plant soybeans and corn. Um, corn um, broadcast up to V8 or 30 inches, directed up to 48, and soybeans up to the R2 stage. The enlist corn is also resistant to the FOP herbicides, Quisalifop or, or Assure and Quisalifop or Fusilade, which is really not a big deal for weed control in corn, but does create a little bit possibly a little bit harder volunteer corn control situation the next year. Um, the product so far for Enlist Beans is Enlist Duo, which is a mix of glyphosate and Dow's 240 choline, which is a new formulation to 240 with reduced volatility. Um, and you can see the four pint rate there gives you about 0.8 pounds of 24D and about 0.85 pounds of glyphosate. That's the only product allowed for any post-emergence applications to Enlist Corn or Beans or any other pre-applications that are different or less restrictive than current 240 labels. So on the Enlist Bean, if you're still out at least seven days ahead of soybean planting, you can use other 240 ester products per the current label, but um, if you're three days before soybean planting or app planting, for example, you would have to use Enlist Duo. Um, at this point, the dicamba herbicides, which all apparently do have lower volatility, so we're told um, from Monsanto or Extend, which is glyphosate plus dicamba, Extend to Max, which is straight dicamba, VSF has Ingenia, which is dicamba. Um, there's a very, various issues with this at, this at these at this point. Apparently, one of these is the use of ammonium sulfate um, increases volatility of the dicamba, and of course, most of these are going to be in a premix or combined with glyphosate. So we wonder a little bit how that's going to work when you have hard water situations. We didn't have labels for these as of early November, so I don't have much else to say at this point. There will be a lot of attention to stewardship of these, and you're going to see some things on the label, and we already do on the Enlist Duo label that are not typical for herbicide labels. Um, they stipulate um, buffers. If the wind's blowing in the direction of a sensitive crop, you have to maintain a buffer between where you're spraying Enlist Duo, and I assume probably something with it similar with Extend um, and that crop. Um, they'll talk about um, proprietary tank cleaners possibly, um, the labels do also specify exactly what nozzles you can use and at what pressure. So far, the Enlist uh, Duo label does, and I assume the Extend label will too. So um, there'll be more on that to come.